In this video, we're going to be talking about Divi layouts and how they are important when it comes to designing your web pages. Okay, so right now I'm using this layout from the pre-made layout pack. So as you can see, this is from the Pottery Studio. So this is the layout we're going to transform into our own custom design. Okay, so the custom design I'm going to be showing you is this one right here, where I turned the pottery design into kind of like a food website. So this is the final result. And this was achieved by just making a few tweaks. So as you can see, it doesn't really matter what layout pack it is, you can pretty much turn it into anything you want. So this is what I'll be showing you in this video. Today's tutorial is made possible by divicake.com. Check out the huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link is in the description below. And also, if you haven't bought Divi yet, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to the Divi Blueprint 3 course. All right, let's get started. Okay, so let's start designing our page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase what I've done here and then start this from scratch. So I'm going to click on Enable Visual Builder. And then I'm going to come all the way to the bottom here on expand settings and delete this layout. Okay. Right. So now that we're starting off from a blank slate, I'm going to come over here to this plus button and go to my pre-made layout. So the layout I'm looking for is the pottery layout. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to use this layout. So I'm going to click here. So it takes a while to load because this is downloading from the DV servers. Great. Okay. So our layout is here now. So everything seems okay. Brilliant. So all I have to do now is to come to the top here and delete this section because we don't need this. Right. So let's start off by adding our main image. So I'm going to come over here to my section settings, click on background. And as we can see, this is the background uh, image that was uh, that's showing right here. So we need to add our own. So I'm going to click here on this delete um, button and then I'm going to click on add to add our own image. So I have already my images uh, loaded up here in my media library. So all I have to do is to select them. But in your case, you may want to upload them one by one by coming over here to upload files. And by the way, I got all my images from pexels.com. So these are royalty free images. OK, so I'm going to come over here, click upload an image. And as you can see, my image has been now been uploaded. So I don't really have to do much here because everything is done for me. There's the padding, the spacing. So this is why these pre-made layouts are very, very uh, important because they give you a very uh, good starting point when designing your web pages. Okay, so now that I have my image in here, all I have to do now is to save and then we need to make more customizations. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into this text and um, change a bit of the text. So I'm going to come over here to my module settings. So as you can see, it says Pottery Studio. I need to change that and give this my own title. So I'm going to go with Healthy Organic Fresh Food. I'm going to come over here to Design. And then under the heading text, I am going to change this font from Poppins. In fact, I may uh, even leave it as Poppins and then we're just going to change the font weight. So I'm going to come over here and uh, let's try ultra light. Yeah, I think I'm OK with that. We may want to bump the size a little bit. So let's try 60. OK, and then I'm just going to double check and make sure that the tablet view is fine as well. So I may want to reduce it a little bit here. I think 40 will do. And then on the smartphone, that seems fine. OK. Right, so now that I'm happy with that, I'm going to go ahead now and save. Next, I'm just going to highlight this word, fresh, make it italicized, and I'm going to make it bold. And I'm also going to change the color. Okay, so I'm going to go with this color right here so that I just highlight uh, that word fresh. Okay, so that's looking good. What I'm going to do next is to change my colors of my buttons because I have my own color palette that I'm working with. So I'm going to click this gear icon to go into the button settings. Next, I'm going to click on design and then click on button. So already our custom styles for button are set. So all I have to do now is to come over here and change my color. So that's the background color. And then I also need to change the border color. OK, so now that gives it a full button. OK, so I'm pretty much happy with that. I'm going to go ahead now and save. 
Okay, so let's move on to the next part. So I'm going to go into my row settings, click on background. So this is where the background colors are. So I'm just going to change this as well. So I'm going to click here and add my color. And I'm going to come on the next one and also add my color. So I know it's going to look the same, it looks the same right now, but uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, add some transparency to this so that when I add my image, it will show throughout in the background. Okay, so I'm going to revisit this at some point, but uh, for now, I'm going to go ahead and save. Okay, so let's adjust on titles here. So I'm going to go into my module settings and for heading two, click on design, heading text, heading two, and I'm going to change this from bold to ultra light. So I think that works better. And by the way, you can use different fonts here, but uh, the idea of this tutorial is just to show you how you can quickly go in and make your changes. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add an image to my background. So I'm going to click this third tab and then I'm going to click this plus button to add my image. And the image I'm going to go with is this one right here. Click upload an image. So you can see now the image is now showing in the background. And uh, because I've added that transparency, now it's showing a little bit of the image. So what we could also do is I'm going to save this for now. We could go back into our row settings and make further adjustments. So we can experiment here with different colors. So we could try this one here. But as you can see, that doesn't really look nice. Um, and that one either. So I think I'll stick to what I have here. So this is where you can adjust and see how much transparency you want to um, add here. But the good, the, the good rule of thumb here is do not make it too uh, transparent. Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult for this text to be uh, easy to read on that background. So I'm just going to bring it back up here until I can read the text. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and save. Okay, so moving on, let's come over here to our next section. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just change the color. So I'm going to go into my row settings, click on background. And this time we're going to make this color really dark. So I'm going to go with this and then I am going to change the titles here. Okay, so I'm going to save this for now. And then over here, I need to uh, change this image. In fact, I think this image is applied to the row. So we need to go back into the row settings. Okay, so let's go to background and we can see the images right here. I'm going to delete that. And then we're going to add our own image. So I'm going to click this plus button. And the image I'm going to add is this one right here. Click upload an image. And now you can see this looks really, really beautiful. Okay, so moving on, I'm going to save this. And then we need to work on our next section. So over here, I'm also going to do the same thing. Go into my row settings, click on background. And I'm going to change my background image here and click this plus button to add my image. So I'm going to go with this chicken, click upload an image. And then over here on the right, we also need to change that color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to column two background and add my color. And then over here, let me just save this for now. Uh, let's get rid of this row. We don't need this right now. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I am going to um, add a color to this section. So I'm going to go into my section settings, click on background, and let's change our color. Okay, so I'm going to add my color, save. And then what we want to do here is to come in and change the color of our title. So I'm going to come over here to design, heading text, heading two. And we're going to change this from uh, semi bold to light and let's change that color. Okay, so that looks better. You can even use one of these as well. That will work fine. Okay, so I'm going to save that and then moving on. So right here, we need to add another background image. So I'm going to come in here into the gear icon, click on background and we're going to change this image. And the image we're going to use is this one right here. Click upload an image. And for this to work well, what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to change the color of this testimonial section. So I'm going to save this and then I am going to go into my row settings, click on background and change my background color. So I'm going to go with this one here. 
then I'm going to save. So this is a testimonial module. So I'm going to click here on the module settings. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an image because I think an image works better in this case. So I'm going to put an image of this lady, click upload an image. So as you can see, this already looks much better. And then I'm going to come over here to design text and we're going to change the text color. So I'm going to go into body text and change my color. Okay, so that looks fine. I'm going to go ahead and save and then I am going to get rid of this icon right here by hitting delete. And then our title here, happy students. I'm going to change this by clicking the gear icon and going into heading two. Okay, so I'm going to select heading two and then just making sure that this is set to light and also the color needs to change. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead now and save. So as you can see, we managed to quickly go in and make all these changes. Also here on the social media icons, we can go in and make those changes too. So I'm going to click this gear icon and I'm going to go into Facebook, click on background and I can change my background color right here like that. So that uh, all the colors I'm using throughout this website do match my branding. Okay, so you can go into Twitter, do the same thing, delete the color, add your color back, move on to Instagram, change my color, and then go to YouTube and change that color. Let's save. Okay, so as you can see, I was able to quickly go in and replace the images that came with this uh, pre-made layout and pretty much change this website into a healthy, organic, fresh food website. So this is the best way to use these pre-made layouts because sometimes I see a lot of people saying, well, can we have a layout pack for this company or that company? Or can we have a layout, pa a layout pack for plumbing? Really, you don't uh, really need to get a layout pack for that particular field or industry. All you have to do is to pick, up, uh, pick out a layout which you like and then replace all the text and all the content that uh, goes on that website. So this is our final website. So as you can see, this looks really fresh and it still looks professional. And I've managed to change my buttons here to change to match uh, the buttons of my branding. So as I scroll down here, you can see all the titles look great. Now, here's a quick thing. If you want to make quick changes to your layouts, you need to utilize the copying and pasting of styles. For example, if I make changes to this button here, all you have to do is to go in and uh, copy the style and paste it everywhere where there is a button. So that just makes it easier for you to work faster. And also the headlines, you can always come here, copy the style and paste it everywhere that needs a headline. Okay, so as you can see, the colors really work well with this industry, the food industry, and this is great. Right, so go ahead, give it a try and uh, see what you can come up with. Today's tutorial is made possible by DiviCake.com. Check out the huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link is in the description below. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified every time I release new tutorials, which I produce regularly. Until next time, thanks for watching and I will see you soon.